Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss one-to-one -one relationship in an SQL relational database. A prerequisite for this session will be knowing the difference between the primary key and a foreign key. This session is designed specifically for accounting students or CPA candidate who are studying for the CPA exam. So we have one-to-one -one relationship, we could have one-to-many relationship, and we could have many-to-many. -many. In this session, we will focus on the one-to-one -one in another recording, we'll focus on one-to-many and many-to-many. -many. Now, a one-to-one -one is a specific type of a relationship between two tables in a relational database. Now, what is one-to-one? -one? Well, it means each row or each record in one table is associated only and exactly only with one record in another table and vice versa. Simply put, it's one-to-one -one correspondence between the records of the two tables. So we have two tables and we're gonna work an example and the relationship is one-to-one. -one. This is in contrast, we're gonna see later, we're gonna have one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationship where each record in one table can be related to multiple records in another table. Now one-to-one, -one, I gotta let you know upfront that it's not a common one, but we need to understand it. If you understand one-to-one, -one, then it's easier to understand one-to-many it's not, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's not common. And you're going to see why once we look at the example and why it's used, when it's used. Let's take a look at an example to make this a little bit easier for us to understand. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Let's take a look at this example to illustrate the concept of one-to-one -one relationship. We have employee table where we have the employee ID as the primary key. We have the first, last name, telephone number, and the address of the employee. Then each employee will have a driver's license issued by the state. There's an issue date, expiration date, date of birth of the employee. Now for the driver's license, we have a driver's license number, which is the primary key. Now we should have only one driver's license per employee and each employee should only have one driver's license. You cannot have a license from multiple state. This is a one-to-one -one relationship. So each driver's license be belong only to one person and each person should have one driver's license. Now, could you think of a better solution rather than having two tables? And the answer is yes. That's why one-to-one -one is not common. What do we do? We can combine or merge these two tables in something like this. So now we have one employee table where we have the employee ID as the primary key and we have all the information and the driver's license become just a part of the larger table. Now, can we use one-to-one? -one? Of course, we could use one-to-one -one relationship. For example, we can use it when data are coming from various, not source, courses, sources, and cannot be combined. So sometimes the data is coming from various sources and we cannot easily combine them. Or when sometimes the data is optional. For example, we could have some data for some employees and not for others. So what we do for the optional data, we'll keep a separate table. Or we could have a large table, like imagine this employee table could have, for example, many, many other rows. So what we do is we break it down. Now we put the driver's license as a separate component, as a separate table, just for to make it smaller, to better organize it, maybe. Maybe. I'm just thinking of other, uh, other, uh, other usage. Let's take a look at this example where we have an employee ID for the company and we have a bank account information. Now, when you get paid, you get paid through a direct deposit. And what we're saying is, what we're saying here, each employee should only have one, each employee should only have one bank account. Therefore, we have an employee ID as the primary key. Then we have a bank account table and we have the account number at the bank as the primary key. Then we link those through the employee ID as the number. Now, why, so each person that works for the company should have only have one bank account. And each, one, each bank account that we have belongs only to one person. 
So combining the two tables, so can we combine the two tables? Can we take this table and put it here? Sure, we can. I'm just showing you maybe a practical use for the one-to-one -one is having this information readily available with the employee ID may give access to other people that they're not supposed to see the account number, the banking account number of that information. So what you do is you keep those separate because it might violate privacy, security, or confidentiality. So that's why we might, and just thinking of a use for that. Now, what are the symbols or signs for one-to-one -one relationship? So if we have two tables, notice the key and the key. So this is one-to-one, one-to-one, -to -one, one -to -one, or this symbol is one, this symbol here, then it will be look something like this, one-to-one. -one. It will be one-to-one -one meaning. Now we're going to see later, we could have one to many, which we'll be discussing next, one to many. What should you do now? You should go to Farhat Lectures, look at MCQs, additional resources to help you, whether you are taking the CPA exam or some other professional certification or studying for your accounting information system courses. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.